Thanks for watching Squirrel Fun. Comment below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Check out some of my other videos for short trivia lessons and quick bits of knowledge so that you can learn something new every day, even with your busy schedule. Peace, love, rock and roll. Enjoy! The Myth of the 24-Hour Flu Every flu season, millions of people who get their flu shots still come down with a nasty stomach bug that puts them in bed for up to 48 hours. The cause of their suffering is not the flu, which is a respiratory disease transmitted by airborne viruses that can survive up to a month and cause severe or even life-threatening illness. If you're sitting on or kneeling in front of the porcelain throne, what you're suffering is not the flu. Chances are it's a case of gastroenteritis, which many people call a stomach bug or food poisoning. It's an inflammation of the stomach and intestines caused by ingesting a virus or microbe. The associated nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and stomach cramps often subside within a day. The likely culprit is the highly contagious norovirus, which accounts for half of foodborne diseases, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Norovirus infection often causes large outbreaks, and on occasion has sent the majority of passengers on cruise ships to their sick beds for a day or two. The vomit and stools of those infected are highly contagious. The virus can linger on the surface of objects for weeks. Approximately 30% of stomach bugs are caused by two similar viruses, the rotavirus and the astrovirus. Norovirus is a germ that spreads quickly and easily from a sick person to others. It causes vomiting and diarrhea that come on suddenly, often before you can get to a bathroom. If you get sick from norovirus, you might splatter drops of vomit or poop from many feet in all directions. Norovirus symptoms can strike any time, any place. You could be at the fair or out shopping. It's extremely important to clean up the entire area immediately after you vomit or have diarrhea so others don't get norovirus. Cleanup must be thorough to not miss any drops of vomit or poop that can't be seen. Here's how to clean up after someone vomits or has diarrhea. Step 1. You don't want norovirus to get on your hands or in your mouth while cleaning up vomit and poop. Protect yourself. Put on disposable gloves and a mask if you have one. Step 2. Wipe up vomit and poop with paper towels and put them in a plastic trash bag. Step 3. Pour bleach cleaner on all surfaces that may have vomit or poop on them. Leave the bleach on surfaces for at least 5 minutes. You can use a chlorine bleach cleaner or make your own by adding 3 quarters cup of bleach to 1 gallon of water. Step 4. Clean all surfaces again with hot water and soap. Step 5. Remove your disposable gloves, throw them away, and take out the trash. Step 6. Remove and wash all laundry that may have vomit or poop on them with hot water and soap. Step 7. Wash your hands with soap and water and call it a job well done. Help squash norovirus. Always clean up the entire area immediately after someone vomits or has diarrhea. Learn more at cdc.gov slash norovirus. Other stomach bugs are triggered by bacteria, including Salmonella, Shigella, Staphylococcus, Clostridium, and E. coli. Exposure usually occurs through the consumption of contaminated food or water. Most people don't associate their illness with something they ate or drank, though, 
because 24 to 72 hours usually pass before they feel sick. Worldwide, inadequate treatment of gastroenteritis, or norovirus, kills 5 million to 8 million people per year, and it is a leading cause of death among infants and children under the age of 5.